I'm Jacqueline Kerner, Chair of the Board of Ecotrust Canada. And I'm Ian Gill, President of Ecotrust Canada. And this year we're bringing you our 2008 annual report online. Because amidst all the Twitter and Flickr and what have you, it seems like a digital report is long overdue. Plus, in these financially troubled times, we need to get smarter. By going digital, we're saving 500 pounds of paper, 2,300 pounds of greenhouse gas emissions, and $12,000 on printing and distribution. That makes this year's annual report our greenest ever. Through social media, we hope to reach more people than ever. Greener, leaner, smarter. Perhaps that's a good prescription of how we should retool our entire economy. 2008 was a troubled year. Financial markets collapsed, banks went bust, car factories closed. At the same time, climate change started to play havoc with our climate. So it seems to us that the work of Ecotrust Canada is more and more important. BC's roadmap to recovery really needs to lead to what Jane Jacobs referred to as reliable prosperity. Our choice isn't between the environment and economy. That's proved to be a false choice. In fact, Ecotrust Canada's work is really about proving that the environment and economy are inextricably linked. In 2008, we led the way in helping to certify BC's coastal forestry according to the strict standards of the Forest Stewardship Council. We explored new ways of valuing our rainforests as carbon sinks to mitigate against climate change. We work with local fishermen and First Nations to create innovative new models of fishing license and quota ownership. We began a project to trace seafood from the Pacific to your palate, which caters to consumers' growing appetite for information about where their food comes from. We partnered with First Nations to launch the Clarkwood Sound Forest Communities Program, which aims to assist local people with economic diversification. And we invested. Our subsidiary capital corporation made a million dollars in new loans, bringing our active portfolio to almost $4 million by the end of the year. Much of our work in 2008 continues on in 2009. This year we launched Climate Smart, our new subsidiary. Climate Smart was developed to assist BC's 300,000 small and medium-sized enterprises to measure, reduce and offset their carbon footprints. In 2009, we've also launched the First Nations Regeneration Fund, a partnership with two Aboriginal capital corporations. The fund helps finance First Nations equity in run of the river power projects in BC. And later this year, we'll be publishing a monumental work, Living Proof. Living Proof will be the essential data collection guide for Indigenous use and occupancy mapping. This book was written by Terry Tobias. The volume will be the most authoritative work in its field and a critical resource for Indigenous peoples around the world. We believe that's an example of the kind of global leadership we need to take here in British Columbia to become global leaders in retooling our economic engine to be more socially and environmentally responsible. We need to create wealth while conserving our biosphere, our rich rainforests, oceans and our atmosphere. At Ecotrust Canada, our goal is to build the conservation economy. Our approach is to innovate, to invest, and hopefully to inspire others to do the same. So thank you for your support and your interest. And we hope you enjoy our 2008 annual report.